Uh, in this lesson, I want to explain the offset tool in color 3D. If you want to add an internal line or extend or cut the object, align the edge, you have to use the offset. For example, you click, you select, you, you are in, a, in this, these two patterns, you go into the edit pattern and then right click on this line. As you can see, we have two offsets here. And if you select two, Edges, another tool that called distribute will be appear here. Offset as an internal line, the first tool is here. Offset as an internal line, as you can see, it's offset this line as an internal line. In this <coughs> window, you can change the number of the offset, any offset that you want. Here, the distance. If you select the select here, you can change the distance of all offset if you want to change the distance of uh, individual object you can select individual as you can see you can uh, change the offset of the line individually from that selected line and here you can select them all reverse direction it's go in this way and it does not work because we need internal line exactly in the pattern extended as you can see if you uncheck the extended it respect the edge of is the length of the this offset the base offset of uh, pattern and it's uh, offset it exactly the same length but if you click extended it uh, reach the other edge of the pattern and if you hit okay as you can see we have our segment here but another important thing, as you can see, there are no red dot. It means they are not cut uh, the, this length. If you want to cut it, you have to trim that. That I will explain in the next lesson here. Trimmed object. It cut the segment of this object. Okay. Uh, another offset is here. If you right click, you can offset pattern outline. Uh, we have two directions. This is outline. This is not internal. It's cut or extended. The first thing is extended. As you can see, this uh, window will be up here and we explain it. First, the, the thing I want to explain is uh, retract. It means it's cut the object here. And the distance that you want to cut, you can change it here and hit OK. As you can see, it cut it objects. Um, the pattern aligned is uh, edges and based on this uh, edge here segment here okay but if you selected two edge and want to extend them you can right click offset pattern as outline and set it as an extend and now this uh, graphical uh, setting will be appear here okay the direction is extended you can change the extended uh, distance the number of offset that you want as you can see this uh, this tool add the pattern okay it's at the outline you can add your pattern in this way you can change the total uh, you can it tells you a uh, total distance that you want to add it if you want to create internal line as you can see this created as an internal line if you want in some cases we need it but in this case, we don't need that. <clears throat> and here you can see graphically select the, this edge here. What happened? As you can see, the default corner means uh, it's respect the perpendicular of this uh, outline here. But we selected the angle corner. Uh, sorry, if you if you go into perpendicular, you can extend it. As you can see, it's uh, going ex straight in this line if you go in if you go perpendicular this um, uh, angle over here is a uh, <clears throat> 90 degree but if you select it uh, extended it's uh, go exactly along this edge or mirror okay you can select a mirror which uh, uh, the mirror uh, it's mirroring along this edge as you can see this edge, this segment is mirror along this segment here. 
Okay, if you are in, for example, extended, as you can see, you can change the edge of here any, in any parameter that you are. As you can see, you can change this angle of here. So graphically, you can see. Uh, it's make this angle exactly a right angle corner. It means this angle of here is exactly 90 degree or default. I think it's better see in this angle. Okay, you can see it. And you can hit OK. And as you can see, our pattern is extended here. And we have a dash line. To select it, you have to select it with a notched, uh, with a trace tool. You cannot select it because there are trace um, lines. Another offset tool that you can use if you go into this edit mode to select the segments, you can select two edge uh, like this and you want to add uh, internal line between them. You can right click on one of them and you can see another uh, <clears throat> tool will be appear here. Distribute internal line between the segment that you selected. As you can see, this window will be open and you can select uh, the number of distributed uh, segment between these two segments you can change the offset between them you can change the distance segment like this you can go into the opposite uh, direction of that you can reverse it to, to which uh, edge there will be snap and here if you want to select them a straight line can select it a straight line you can perpendicular direction okay uh, it's try to go perpendicular to the selected edges it means another direction that you want okay and graduate segment lengths as you can see it's <clears throat> uh, you can see it better here for example if you hit okay it's try to select the internal line I select it and select it and write and distribute again and select it. As you can see, <clears throat> the length of this uh, edge is in this centimeter and it's uh, to try to extend it to the other edges, to snap it to other edges. But if you graduate segment length, it try to maintain the edge of, uh, to create exactly the edge of the length of these two segments that you selected this is graduate segment length and you can hit okay okay in this case we need something like this okay you learn the offset tools and you can use it and it's very important for example when you want to use the plates here we use these tools hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release